tonight. So, all right, it is 822. A local organization has made it their mission to raise awareness for breast cancer support. Tina is at the stage with Thriving Pink to learn about the events they have planned for the month. Hey, T. Yeah, this is board chair, newly elected board chair, Gail Berry here. Thriving Pink is based in Davis. Welcome. Thank you, Tina. You really have a lot. Be here. You have a lot of events. I went on their website and I said, "Wow, you have a lot of events planned, all to raise money for oh breast gosh. cancer awareness." Yes. And you know, I'm a survivor, 15 years. I did know that. And so yeah, me too. Congrats. Yeah, sisters. Thanks. High five to that. Yeah, there you go. So <laughs> tell us about some more about the organization and upcoming events. So Thriving Pink is a local Yolo County-based nonprofit. Um, and we help uh, people who've been diagnosed with breast cancer through their journey, through diagnosis, and then afterwards okay. through uh, survivorship and thrivership is what we like to call it. I like it. that. I like that, thrivership. Yeah, so um, we, it's really nice because uh, we are local. And so I know one thing when I was diagnosed, you know, I don't know about you, but it was really important to have somebody I could talk to. Lots of people you know, need that. Like face to face. There's lots of great organizations that focus on this, but we're local. We have a lot of programs. People can join in person or over Zoom for a lot of our workshops and okay. um, our programs. They can come to an office. We have an office in Davis. And Do you know how many people you've helped Helped, uh, maybe over the last year or yeah so? um, in eight years so we're a kind of a young organization okay. we've been able to give uh, over three hundred thousand dollars in grants to over uh, 230 people oh, that's wonderful. in addition to many workshops we do peer mentoring uh, we do programs um, it's very important uh, to talk to someone who's been down that road it is and it's here's some pictures here from past events uh, you can see uh, that's very much of a community. Very much of a community. You have a walk next weekend. A walk next weekend. The How do people sign up? Where is that at? Uh, just come out. It's free. It's Where? Uh, not a fundraiser. North Park in Davis. Okay. North Star Park in Davis at 10 a.m. Okay. on the 19th. Not a fundraiser? Not a fundraiser. Oh, but so we're going to get some exercise. But we will actually, yes, wellness is very important mm -hmm. to us. Uh, and certainly we hope that uh, this is our big month. We do give grants to individuals in YOLO who have, have been diagnosed. And okay. so we're hoping to raise a lot of funds this month. And the Zoomathon? And Zoomathon, yeah, people can come out to the Zoomathon. They can sign up for a virtual version okay. or come uh, to Fit when House is that? in Davis. That's the 18th okay. and at 7 in the evening. Perfect, so, perfect. Yeah. And to it's all get on our web, too. Uh, yeah, get information on their website, full of information and resources. If you know of someone going through breast cancer and they just got diagnosed or perhaps it's you, um, you know, feel free to reach out, especially I did not know about your organization until yeah. I got the email. Yeah, thank you. So it's good to know. Um, we also have a Spanish program, Prosperosa. So we reach out to the uh, Latinas and Spanish speaking community that's being diagnosed. And so, uh, okay. you know, we're just trying to uh, provide um, a really high touch service to people in YOLO. All right. Website? Uh, thrivingpink.org. Thrivingpink.org. Nice to meet you, Gail. Nice to meet My you, Hello, sister. Not that we asked for it, but. It's for life. All right. Ashley, back over to you. All right, Tina, thank you again for always sharing your 